Hi, my name's Jeff. Today, in this video, we're going to take a look at three very easy ways to personalize our Sibelius 7 experience. First, head over to File, and then under Preferences, we're going to go to Other. When Sibelius 7 starts, it normally plays music, which I find distracting, and maybe you do as well. So let's not have it do that. We'll uncheck the box. Be sure to hit OK. If you're using the default settings of Sibelius, your score might look like this, and your desktop might look like this too. We have this purple gradient background, and we have this bright white uh, paper with this, um, this patterned paper. And it's really bright. It's hard on your eyes after a long period of time. So we're going to change these. To something that we like. File, Preferences, now Textures. There are a lot of different options for paper. There's even coffee stained paper, there's graph paper, or maybe you don't want paper at all. Maybe you want purple leather or blue slate. There's so many different things. They're all really distracting to me. So instead, I like to use a color. We can click on color. And then we can simply find a color that we like, maybe something muted. So if you find a color that you like, then you can go over here and move this up and down to control how bright or dark that particular color is. I had already done this, and I made a custom color, which I saved. So any color that you um, pick out, you can add it to your custom colors. So I'm going to go back to my custom color. Here it is. And you can see it's just a nice manila kind of color, and it doesn't have any kind of distracting patterns on it or anything. Because it's a bit darker than that bright paper, it's also going to be easier on my eyes if I'm working for an extended period of time. Now I want to get rid of this purple gradient background. Let's go back to File, Preferences. And for the desk, again, there's a whole bunch of different choices. My favorite is this particular wood choice here. I think that looks great. Maybe you want something different. Go ahead and experiment, but the point is that you personalize Sibelius so that it looks the way that you want it to look. Remember, none of these options is going to affect the way that your piece prints out. This is just for display purposes within the program. We can also, if we wanted to, give our scores one texture and our parts another texture. I just choose to keep them the same. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please be sure to click the uh, thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks and take care.